Start now every morning with some crock pot meat. Daisy's still pumped about it. Day number 43. Beef doctor. Figure the beef doctor would have a little bit of a nice car, but I guess it's buying all that meat. Again, it's only for the bone, so when oh, you're sawing something, and once you're through the bone, you stop sawing, yeah. and then you get your knife, and then you'll start cutting. Right. But yeah, a lot of the three cuts. Come check this out, Smokey. Check out this. Uh, Smokey. That's uh, Smokey over here. That's his nickname? That's the nickname, like yeah. <laughs> so, first two or three cuts off the chuck. So these first two or three cuts are closest to the ribeye. Yeah. So you have the shoulder between the fifth and sixth rib, so you have the shoulder and then the ribeye. So this is right next to the ribeye off the shoulder. So From what I've seen, it takes a lot to get into all that meat, right? Like, oh, yeah. I mean, you're starting out and you got to continue to trim the meat down a lot. And then like that is, I find it fascinating that that's like in case, like it's a, yeah. like a prize, like kind of at the middle of the cow. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty and, cool. You know, some butcher shops, they grind it. Um, some people will just leave it on the chuck itself. And, Hey, you want to beat your meat? Oh, of course. Yeah, so, this right here, there's, there's a couple things you can do. You can score the fat. It's all good stuff to like I I just like to eat meat. I don't know yeah. anything about it, so it's fun to learn this stuff. Right, and you can score it like that, and, and then you can cook do? it. You can cook it in a pan, and you're gonna render that fat. So nice and slow, you're gonna cook it like that, and then you're gonna render the fat, and that's gonna kind of baste into the meat, and then you can flip it over. And How much is this? This right here is ten ninety nine a pound. So not too bad. Yeah, that's tons a better. It really good steak. It tastes really good. Tons, tons of flavor. Tons of flavor. Yeah, seems tons like of flavor. That's all that fat in the back. And so, you know, when we get a few sirloins in, there's only one on the top sirloin. Great time at Taylor's Market today. Uh, they showed us around, they showed us the freezer, they showed us a bunch of different cuts, showed us some lamb, showed us some sausage, showed us a bunch of different cuts of meat. And uh, I ended up 
walking away with a bunch of meat. I'm excited about going home to cook up. Hopefully you guys learned something today. It's day number 42 of Carnivore 100. Thank you guys so much for continuing to follow along and support. Our boy Jordan Syatt is going to be joining us for, uh, he's going to do a month of Carnivore and see how it works for him. I really can't wait for him to, to dive into it and for him to see himself that food choices are really pow powerful and I, I believe I'm a proponent of that look if we get the food choices right we don't need to count calories and we don't need to w worry about it nearly as much as you think so I think that not only is it going to be effective for him but I think it's going to change some of his outlook and some of his mindset towards nutrition recently I saw uh, Lane Norton uh, make a post and he was talking about how inefficient and how he doesn't like the way some of these studies are being done and how he looks at this and instead of looking at that because he's so much smarter than everybody else or whatever and I really got to be honest I got I got to say I just think it's all a load of shit because there's nothing to study in nutrition we just need to stop we really do there's there's nothing to, nothing further to learn uh, nothing will ever change in nutrition the human body is designed to eat the things that are natural to us we're designed to eat meat we're designed to eat plants and that's about it we're omnivores and uh, i think it's just let's just stop with all these foolish studies i don't think they're getting us anywhere i don't think we know anything more than we knew a few million years ago in terms of nutrition maybe that's my weird thoughts about it but that's what i think gonna go over to super training got a bunch of work to do and gonna continue along with my day all right gonna cook this guy up right here Keto bacon cheddar cheese patty. Wow, that looks good. There's all the stats from our boys over at Acom Meals. Shot a video today called Carnivore for Dummies. Went over all the ups and downs, the ins and outs of the carnivore diet and what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat. Should you eat condiments? Should you eat the, you know, eggs and cheese and all this other stuff? Uh, just to give you, elaborate a little bit on that. You're gonna see the video in a few weeks, gonna come out. Um, it was really, really elaborate. Uh, I talked for about 35 minutes straight on the carnivore diet and how you can utilize the carnivore diet. But something I just wanted to share quickly is, you know, people ask about dairy and they ask about condiments. They say, hey, can I eat this? Can I eat that? The answer is yes, you can eat kind of whatever you need. And I like to think of this as a meat-based diet rather than just thinking about it, you being so strict on a carnivore diet. However, the more problems you have, the more strict that you need to be, in my opinion. The more ailments, the more autoimmune, the more obesity, the more disease that we have, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense to adhere to the diet very strongly and to use it as an elimination diet to really truly see what it can do for you and how it's going to work for you the best. So I think that's the best way to go about doing it. Now, can you add in some dairy? Uh, yes, you can add in some dairy. I'm adding in dairy right now. Last month I went with no dairy. Um, do I feel better or worse adding in dairy? I haven't noticed a negative change of any real significance. However, I would say, uh, you know, I don't have a great, I don't tolerate milk that well. So if I drink too much milk, I will get gassy. It will bloat me a little bit. And so I need to watch out for that. But for most other parts of it, in terms of like heavy cream and stuff, I haven't noticed any negative impact or uh, ne negative influence adding some of that stuff in. And then when it comes to condiments and stuff like that, I would say, look, as long as it's not having sugar in it, and as long as it's not gonna impede on your progress, even if it has small amounts of sugar on it, in it, I don't think it would be that big of a deal. So those are just a couple little things I wanted to share with you, but that video is gonna be great. I'm excited for it. That's gonna end up on my Mark Bell Super Training YouTube channel. I have multiple YouTube channels. The one you're watching right now is the Mark Smelly Bell one, but I also have the Super Training one as well, which has, you know, thousands upon thousands of videos. No one has more videos than yours truly, The People's Coach. That's how I got the moniker. That's how I got the name The People's Coach is because nobody has taught people how to squat, deadlift, and bench more than I have uh, because of the thousands and thousands of videos that you can see here that you'll see... Um, on Mark Bell Super Training YouTube channel, as well as on Jim McD1234, which is another old YouTube channel that I have. So you can see the stuff. I mean, it's literally all over the place. And then been slamming out tons of information on Instagram. And now I got markbell.com, 
which I would strongly suggest a lot of you check out if you want to see my exact diet, my exact way of lifting, um, and all the great things that come along with all that. Because I know a lot of people have been wanting to follow along, and they've been wanting to do exactly uh, kind of what I'm doing, especially more recently. Right now it is 4.25, and uh, I forget about yoga every single week, even though I look forward to it every single week. I just get so caught up in the different things I'm doing for work um, that I oftentimes forget you know, what I'm supposed to be doing or where I'm supposed to be. So I'm running a little bit behind. I don't like doing that. Um, I just threw down an Icon meal um, at, the, uh, at the office. I got in uh, a, a bacon cheeseburger. Those are fantastic. Uh, Icon Meals is a sponsor of the podcast now. We're very grateful and thankful for them. I think if you use the code POWERPROJECT at checkout, I think you get uh, a percentage off. But I forget what it is. I should know these things. But, you know, I got a lot of different codes going for a lot of different things due to the uh, people that have uh, sponsored the podcast. Anyway, going to get in some good yoga, going to get in some more good training for today. Uh, looking forward to getting a big old fat uh, walk afterwards. Hopefully the wifey will be down to uh, hit up a walk with me. Um, I didn't get much opportunity for any real walks today. No exercise today. The only exercise I'll probably get is some walking uh, and some yoga. And that'll be a nice day of reprieve. Nice day to reset so I can go in and uh, just kill myself tomorrow. Can't wait to do that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Um, my hamstring was a little weird from running. I really originally wanted to deadlift, but now it looks like <clears throat> looks like I might be able to trap bar deadlift, but I also have some running going on in the morning, so we'll kind of just see how it all plays out. Right now, I have a giant vibrator on my balls right now that I want to show you guys. I'm trying to think the best way to, for me to get the yoga the quickest. Okay, yeah, I'll go up here and go right. That would be the best way. But I'm using a hyperbolt, this thing right here, vibrating like crazy. This guy. <laughs> Anyway, this has been really effective at uh, kind of breaking up some of those tissues in my groin that have hurt for so long, and also in breaking up some of the tissue just from the slight hamstring pull that I got the other day. Both hamstrings are actually really tight. I'm gonna utilize those on both hammies a bunch, <clears throat> but uh, Hypervolt is gonna be another company that's gonna be sponsoring the podcast. Uh, people might say, hey, you know, why are you hopping in and getting all these sponsors? You think you're, des you know, you're desperate for money or whatever. No, it has nothing to do with that. Although it, it is uh, financial, it is something that we are, yeah, we are monetized and we are getting paid for it. But it's also providing value to you guys. It's discounts and the cool stuff that we already like, we already use. I already use Piedmontese beef. I already use Perfect Keto bars. I already use Quest bars. I already <clears throat> utilize a lot of stuff from a lot of these other great companies, uh, Hypervolt and whatever else we end up promoting out to you then you guys reap their benefits of getting a nice discount from it. And then Andrew and Sema and myself, we all uh, get to reap the benefits of uh, monetizing that, being able to put more money into ourselves, being able to put more money into our fitness, being able to put more money into our families and being able to put more money back into the podcast so we can continue to get better. The studio that we're gonna put together in 2020 is gonna blow everyone's face off. And I can't, I absolutely cannot wait for that. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see all that unfold. So I'm going to get this yoga in. And um, I have some meat cooked up at the house already. Oh, shit. I forgot to bring all that meat home from the damn son of a bee that just hit me. God damn. I got to figure that out. I don't want that sitting in the fridge for another day. Anyway, I got all that meat. I left it at the office because I put it in the fridge at the office. <laughs> I'll be thinking about that. All while I'm doing yoga, I'll be thinking about it the whole time. Be like, I need to go get that meat. Anyway, gonna go hit up this yoga. Catch you guys in a minute. Wrapped up some yoga, felt pretty good. Sometimes it feels great and sometimes it doesn't feel so great. Sometimes it's just I. Right. Today was okay, but just like, uh, I don't know, knees kind of bugging me and stuff like that. Um, even just like being on all fours kind of hurts just because I'm not used to it. Even though there's like a mat, like it doesn't do shit. Um, still kind of just have some pain and some kind of just tension as I'm uh, as I'm sitting there working on some of the stretches and stuff. And so 
it's weird because I'm going for certain stretches, but I'm not able to access just because my body doesn't have the ability to do some of it. But it's always a learning process, something I'm going to be doing for a while. I'm going to stick with it. I've uh, been doing it on and off for over a year. Um, I stopped doing it for a period of time, but uh, going to keep it in the mix and eventually going to break off into doing some uh, jujitsu at some point. And once I start doing that, then maybe I'll shift into doing a little bit less of the yoga. But uh, so far, so good. So what? Time to go home and get some food. Walking is extremely therapeutic. Um, whenever you're frustrated, go for a walk. Whenever you're angry, go for a walk. And if you're still frustrated and you're still angry, just keep walking. You can uh, really make a big, really make a big difference on a day where you don't want to train go for a walk until you feel like training. Maybe you're not hungry. Maybe your stomach's bothering you. Maybe you haven't digested your previous meal. Go for a walk. It can really truly be therapeutic in that way. And it can get you kind of refocused, reattached to whatever the things are that you want to do or need to do. Um, definitely, if your head is a little bound up. I know for me, um, I've had a lot to do in the last, it's been a while, you know, <laughs> I've been doing a lot for a lot for a long time and I love it. I love the pressure of it. I love it all. Um, I never feel overwhelmed. Uh, I never let it slow me down, but on occasion I might get a little frustrated because if I don't have time to myself, I'm screwed. I really need time to myself because I need time with my own thoughts to be able to determine how I'm going to treat myself, take care of myself, and treat and take care of friends and family. And then when I don't get that, I get a little, I get a little irritable. I, I can lose a little bit of motivation, which is pretty rare for me. I'm pretty fired up most of the time. But, you know, after yoga tonight, you know, yoga relaxes you a little bit, makes you think a little bit, slows you down a little bit, which is fantastic. But I, I really like walking because the activity really makes my mind move. I'd say yoga kind of makes me stop, which is good. That's very healthy, probably very heart healthy and probably good on many different levels. But this kind of reactivates, reactivates the brain and uh, gets me thinking. It makes me feel really good. I was, my head was a little bit knots. I have kind of a bunch more stuff to do tomorrow and it's just kind of between running and lifting and yoga and uh, work and family and trying to think about you know whether I'm with my kids enough trying to see if I'm with my wife a lot trying to make sure I'm doing all these things um, you can start to overthink it and be like whoa what's going on with all this right am I podcasting am I, am I creating enough content um, am I doing the best I can with my parents am I doing the best I can with my brother all these things you know they're all things that factor in and they come sliding in and out of your head here and there. But whenever you're having a hard time thinking about them, hit up a walk. It'll make you feel amazing. And it will allow you to really sort through your issues and realize that they're not really problems. They are just circumstances. And they're circumstances that can easily have solutions. And it makes you think about it in a more reasonable, rational fashion. That's the advantage that we have as being human beings is that we're not dogs or cats or lions or tigers or zebras or eagles. You know, we're not a particular bird. We don't have to fly south for the winter. We can fly wherever the fuck we want. We can do whatever we want, do whatever we need. We can think about things in a more rational fashion. So highly recommend hitting up your walks. I hit up, try to hit up at least three a day. If I can't get in three a day, I get in one big one like I'm doing right now. And it feels amazing. Lastly on this is right now i'm just kind of going on a little bit more of a stroll not sure not sure where that last video shit the bed but it did it shut down um i was just talking about pace you know i walk fast a lot of times for tonight i'm just on a regular stroll push the pace when you can and when you can't just allow yourself to stroll got home now got a beef chuck eye steak piedmontese looking delicious I did leave the stuff at the gym. I wasn't able to get the meat that I bought today. 
but Piedmontese set me up. Dynasty package. Some uh, tomahawk ribeyes looking amazing. Remember, the chuck eye steak is half the price of a ribeye, but still super flavorful. Here is a beef tri-tip, uh, hippy dippy one, grass fed. And here's another tri-tip one as well. Amazing to have these peeps sending me all this stuff. And then look what we got cooking over here. We got some chicken cooking in the oven. We have like a full, like a, like a half chicken thingy in there, I think. And then I don't know what that other chicken is, but that looks, oh, chicken thighs, that looks amazing. And then over here, because I'm fat and I didn't want to wait, I started cooking up some of the steak that I had last night from Smelly's Kitchen that you saw, and just from like a uh, breakfast sausage, just because I felt like eating that. Ate some steak, ate some sausage, now I'm eating up some chicken. Polished the day off, I cooked up some eggs and some sausage. Got my protein shake here, that's Slingshot Protein. It's a heavy cream, Keto Pro protein as well. All from markbellslingshot.com. And you can see who's excited about it. Miss Daisy, pumped again. This is the way we're finishing out another day. You guys saw me at the butcher. You saw me kinda, uh, you know, showing you all the different cuts of meat that they had there at the butcher shop. And uh, another great day of Carnivore 100. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later.